Hey, at least they have a uh, live bait. They just don't have gas. of four a little bit behind we'll catch it up though we are making this trek back to the Midwest to be honest I I really don't care about this trip I want to see some family I want to see some friends Somerset is a great rest set but I'm more excited to be back here on that following Wednesday well I'm more excited for the Monday to come afterward because Wednesday's gonna come and then I'll work all weekend and then Sunday I'm gonna have to crash but I'm more excited to be back here and get stuff done and I feel like that's a great sign that things are progressing. Ooh, we'll probably have to fill up in two or three, so. Trying out auto. We'll see how it turns out. It's not turning out too well. It's supposed to be auto detecting the light. Um, we're past Kearney, we're around there. I don't know. We're over halfway there. Swapping out drivers real quick because I need to get some work done. And then we'll be there soon, actually. So, yeah. When I was traveling a whole bunch, I just had bags and I had all my equipment everywhere. But. Then when I took that break, I realized I took so many things out of my bag that I just had as an emergency or just in case. For instance, I thought we fixed this power block by replacing the fuse that was blown, but I think all of the terminals inside the actual connector are rusted and corroded, so it's not even giving me power. I'm gonna try to break this open, but at the same time, I need to get work done. I didn't know that, I, I guess there's a power outlet in the back, but it, of course it's only two prong and this is three, and I didn't bring the adapter to convert the other end of my MacBook charger. So, do I break off the little, the ground stud that's there, or do I just wait? 
I've never really broken off the ground stud. I do have a lot of these cables if I really need. And this kind of is a time of need. So I might just break it off. Yeah, I probably should just do that. I might be able to just put that back in later. It looks like it's pretty easy. We'll see. Um, for now, that's off, and I'm going to I'm going to go plug this in and see if it charges. Let's see if that works. Oh, apparently that doesn't work either. I wonder if there's a button for the power accessory. AC-115. There we go. I really don't know how safe this is, but... Oh, we lost power. Another mistake was bringing just one charger. I usually have like three just in case, and I have one this time, so... I really hope just the light's going out and not actually the charger itself, because that was going to be bad. Looks like we have power. I'm going to get work done. I think we're in Lincoln, almost to Lincoln. I don't know, we're almost there actually. Only a few more hours drive. Um, mobile office, all right. Driver is pumping gas. I'm kind of tired, but I want to at least stay up on these. It's always so dark. We made it to Des Moines. Pretty good time too. Like 10 minutes behind schedule, but we left a little bit late, so that wasn't bad. Uh, we're gonna stop by Wellman's here to see a couple friends for like 15, 20 minutes, then we gotta jet downtown and meet another group of like five different friends, and this is the whole, the schedule's gonna be tight. Time to go. Um, That's nice, Kate. Great, that's really good. I, s I saw you got a new dog. I did get a new dog. Look at these guys. Just. <laughs> I don't know if you can see anything. Lighting's terrible. Um, we just got done at this cool place called like Iowa Tap Room or Tap House. I know I need a microphone. Really cool spot. I ordered what I thought was gonna be regular wine. It wasn't. It was like Welsh's grape. So. I'm not used to so much sugar. We're gonna hit up 300 now and hang out for a bit, then probably keep it an early night. Mm -hmm. 